So as we all know, the uh, mixer in Pyramix can get quite large. For instance, there we go. We've got uh, a, a number of buses, a number of auxes, a number of channels, and, and everything gets a, a bit big. So there are a number of tools within the Pyramix mixer which allow us to minimize the view uh, and streamline how we're looking at everything here. So first off, on each row, so each horizontal row, we've got a uh, an ability to collapse or hide uh, each bus. So if I say collapse, then I get it collapsed down. Uh, likewise, um, I can just click for the collapse and we can collapse any row we want to. Yeah. This can also happen for the strips and the actual bus masters. And we can do that as we wish. Um, likewise, if we hide stuff, we can do that. Um, and if we want to get any of it back, we can at any point come back into here and down right in the bottom corner, there's a master controls. So I can say, show everything and we can get back to where we were. But there are a number of tools which help, especially in the areas where um, Pyramix grows more than most other places, being the buses and the oxes section. So up here, we've got a little plus and a underscore and a plus and an underscore in the oxes section. Um, and what this allows us to do is it allows us to um, do a number of things. So first off, if you click on the plus, we get a couple of uh, choices up here. Uh, and the first one we'll look at is collapsing all the mixed groups. So by collapsing all the mixed groups, we get an overview here. So you can see that I can still have control over which bus they're connected to, um, but I get a, a reduced view. Um, and then uh, I can do the same for the auxes. So the nice thing here is that um, if you click on the peak meter, the peak meter opens that control up. So here I can do this. Um, and likewise, I can then open this up and have a look there. And as we can see, even in the collapsed view, I still have control over my uh, levels. Uh, likewise, up in the buses, if I click on the peak meter, I can see those and it comes down. So while this collapse all view is actually quite nice for the oxes, um, it's still more than what we need to see for the uh, the buses and uh, or the mix section up at the top, mix buses, mix groups. <clears throat> so what we can also do is we can click on this minus or well, the underscore. And we click on the underscore, what we do is we get a fully collapsed view of the entire mixer, of the entire mixes section. And at this point, what it allows shows us this, it just shows us the connections that are made in a single row. So what's quite nice here is that I can see in this mono effects that I'm connected to mix group two which is the effect stem. Um, and if I click on this, what I do is I get a little uh, listing up here, which shows me uh, that I can connect to other buses as well. So if I wanted to connect to the Atmos stem as well, I connect, and now you can see that it's available here as both, uh, both views, and I can undo that. So very quickly by using this little underscore, what we're able to do is, is really minimize uh, the view um, of the mixer and, and just see exactly what we need to see here. So we also have a tool to be able to show and hide the masters so we can get rid of views of things that we don't necessarily need to see. And again, just down here, we've got a little box and we can untick to show or hide various ones. So again, we can minimize what we're actually looking at um, within the user interface. That also applies to the auxes and to the mixes. Now, a feature that's been in Pyramix for a little while, but probably not very well known, is something that's called the signal flow. So over on the right-hand side, we've got a little button here that says FL. And if I click it, it completely removes the coloring of my mixer. And any strip that I click on, it shows me the signal path by highlighting all of the strips and all the masters that it ends up going to. So you can see here that my dialog is feeding my dialog stem and the dialog stem is feeding the Aura mix and the 5.1 mix. And if I turn up a aux, you can see that my dialog reverb then has signal in it as well. So that's great. And if I untick that, then it goes away and it goes back to the normal view. But what I can also do is I can also use that button to completely collapse the mixer to view just the signal path of various selections uh, I've made. So for instance, I'm gonna select my effects. So hold down shift and click on one and then the other uh, fader in the range uh, to make the selection. Now, instead of just clicking FL, I'm gonna hold down control and click FL. 
And what I've just done, I've now shrunk the mixer to show me only what I am uh, currently feeding signal through with those effects channels. And again, I hit control again, and it pops back out. So this is available on the mixer directly using control and the FL button. But we can also do this by using the timeline. So if I very quickly go up here, and let's just say I select my four dialog channels. Now up here in selection, I've got a number of tools which allow me to condense or, or expand the mixer. So the easiest one is toggle selection to console mapping. So very quickly click the button and there you go. There are my four dialogues, my reverb, my dialogue stem, <laughs> dialogue steam, uh, my aura mix and my 5.1 mix. And the nice thing about this is since it can be programmed onto a keyboard shortcut, we can very easily assign a key and open and close it simply by clicking a button. So hopefully those tricks have helped you a little bit uh, to make the mixer a much easier place to uh, exist in.